Hello guys, this is Unforgiven. So don't know how for you. Well, this is a Call of Duty Modern Warfare. No, it's not. It's World at War. Well, that was kind of a stupid joke, which I didn't even mean to do. But hi guys, this is Unforgiven. I've been uh, asked to do a bit of World at War gameplay, so I've decided to whack out a World at War gameplay as it's Monday, as it's my first day of my actual, you know, well, well this actually. But never mind. We're actually uh, going to uh, watch some... No, we're not! God, people are so stupid. Nah, actually, guys, we're going to be looking at Modern Warfare 3. Uh, Modern Warfare 3... Wow, I'm just getting this commentary all mixed up. We're actually going to be going ahead and looking at Black Ops 2, guys. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. So now we have some leaked information, I'm literally going to go straight into it. I don't want to mess around because this is important stuff that you guys need to know. By the way, this isn't confirmed. This is leaked. It doesn't mean it's confirmed, so yeah. Here we go. So, the first new perk. These are the only new perks. I'm going to go over the perks in this ep episode, and then probably on... I believe it's Friday I'll be doing the next one. But anyway, let's, let's go into it. So first, there is the spy perk. The spy perk, you appear as a friendly on the enemy map. The disadvantage is you're always spotting, even without UAV, when you're shooting. You turn red on the minimap. Now that seems a pretty good perk, but when you get this perk pro, you detect enemy spies who are trying to be spies on the opponent's team coming into your team. They will always be spotted on the radar, so they will be a red dot probably always. To me, that seems a bit overpowered. Uh, if it was like kind of a UAV flashing dot, that'd be a bit better, but that seems overpowered. They're always spotted on the radar. And there is a new thing in this game called Elite. And it says, if pilot is activated, I'm not 100% sure what pilot is, I'm guessing it's proficiency, and your airship will be marked as an ally. So that perk basically, whenever you're, you're using the perk, you are a spy on the enemy team, you are undercover, but when you start shooting, you're basically appearing on the minimap. The next one is Escape Artist. I don't really want to say much about this, but I am going to say go through it. When you go in prone, you feign death. Cannot shoot during this position. The pro perk is when approaching death, enemies' crosshairs will turn white and your name will disappear as if you were dead. And the elite one, if Diver is activated, you uh, realistically fall to your feigned death before diving. So basically, it's just pretending you're dead, which to me is, again, just a... A weird perk but the next one isn't really great and this is what I'm gonna be talking about kind of a bit it's called audio fill audio file or audio fill players with silenced weapons will be shown on your radar if they're shooting close or around you that to me is pointless you are taking away the whole fact that silencer keeps you off the minimap. That to me is pointless. That's why if this perk's actually gonna be in this game, they better not do it like that because that's just taking away the whole aspect of silencers. Next is the pro perk. It's footsteps are louder, so it's a bit like Sitrep Pro. And the elite one, if Blazeman is on, which is something to do with quicker knifing or here, knifing will show up on the radar as if it's a kill. So you'll appear as a red dot on the minimap, which is, you know, that all these perks at the moment seem, in the elite variants, very, very, very overpowered. Very overpowered. Next one is Diffuser, which you throw all equipment and cooker grenades two times farther, so you throw them further. The hollow circle will show up around your crosshairs, and the circle will fill in three seconds. When the circle is full, the throw will be two times farther. When it's empty, it's one times as far. The pro variant to this should be able to take off a semtex of other players and throw them somewhere else. And be able to pick up enemy equipment and use it as your own. This is what they tried to do in Black Ops originally when they wanted to put Hacker as use the enemy equipment. So like you could get through it or you could see where it is. This is basically saying you're allowed to get the enemy's claim or and move it away. And the elite one if if quick draw is activated, which is I know for a fact is quick draw from Modern Warfare 3, the circle will fill in 1.5 seconds. Now guys, you will not be happy with this. Juggernaut is making a return in Modern in Black Ops 2. Well, just got a message. Okay, <laughs> didn't mean that. But Juggernaut is making a return in Modern Warfare. No, Black Ops 2. I keep saying Modern Warfare 3. Now, it's not the Juggernaut that we know, but it's very, very... Nothing like it, actually. You regain health faster while moving. The Pro variant... 
regenerate health faster while crouching and if scavenger is active with the elite one you're able to drop ammo packs for your team so this doesn't seem actually as bad it doesn't seem like the painkiller juggernaut that was in modern warfare 2 but it still seems pretty you no know, dangerous the next one is actually driver where you can dive in a cover dolphin dive aka and you can still shoot however when you get the pro variant you crawl twice as fast and with the elite when extreme conditioning is active if active you can sprint while crawling faster three times getting instead of getting up not going to really talk about that basically it's you can dive like you can dive uh dolphin dive while shooting basically going on to the next one it is actually blah, technician any land kill streaks counts towards your next kill streak pro your advanced uav will disable the enemy uavs it's a pro variant and the elite one the fuser is active sentries cannot can be taken down instantly so uh, cannot be taken down instantly so basically defending your airport with a bit of power next is consensuousness no that's consistuousness or something while standing you, you are accurate as as accurate as when you are prone the pro the bullets move more flinching i guess that's when like you don't flinch as much and the elite if marksman is activated which marksman is making a return in black ops 2 shooting an enemy will mark them on the minimap so basically the elite version is recon pro and the final perk i'm actually going to be talking about is focus well while to be able to shoot while sprinting even at deduction of accuracy and the pro variant is shoot while jumping even at deduction of accuracy and when stalker is active when jumping equipment does less damage to you so basically it's the stalker the elite variant is and the pro uh, variant is basically you're allowed to spr uh, like jump and shoot so it's basically just like focus in Modern Warfare 3 and finally the top one is really a new thing you're able to sprint and shoot so guys, they're the new perks that have been like announced. There is a few more. If you guys would like to go and check them out, go over to the link in the description. It's called charlieintel.com. It gives you all the information. I'll be covering the guns next. This has been Unforgiven Armour.